Hi, this is Deb, and I'm going to walk you through just a few of the a glitchy part of this uh, virtual lab, the cell cycle in cancer. Obviously, you watch the video first, and then um, you will watch the information, read the information about cancer. Kind of actually some pretty interesting uh, information there. And then you're going to look at slides. All right. So let's say I do normal a lung first. So what you do is you drag these down. So I look right here at this cell, and it looks to me like it's prophase. So I drag that down and fit it in. This one, interphase. This one, also interphase. Yes, and yet another interphase. You'll see a lot of those interphase uh, cells and interphase during uh, the normal slides. And you're going to figure out why in this lab. So first I'm going to check. Yay, it's right. So now I'm going to count how many interphases there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I've got 19 interphase and one prophase. And that's exactly right. Every single one of these slides adds up to 20. So... Um, that's what you'll write down in your table. So let's say I just, there's my 19, and in this one, instead of one in anaphase, it would be one in prophase. So I would write 19, one in prophase, so it adds up to 20, and zero, oops, zero, zero. So that's how you transfer it over. Now you'll see that you're supposed to do a reset on all of these, the normal and the normals, uh, normal and the cancerous ones. So um, if I reset, it comes back normal lung. Well, unfortunately, let's say I was working on cancerous lung and I did my first one and then I reset it, it defaults back to normal lung. But what all you have to do is go over here and do cancerous lung again, and it'll give you a new slide. So reset. I click over here, cancerous lung, and it gives me a different one. Okay, so that's how you get around, because this whole reset thing, it actually should work. So let's say I do cancerous ovary, after I do it, I should be able to reset it and get cancerous ovary again, but it doesn't, it's a little glitch. So go back and do cancerous ovary, and you'll see you get a new slide. So you'll be able to do the two, the reset that way, which is really the reason I'm making this uh, video for you. Um, also what you'll see, generally, this one shows it quite nicely, that there's a whole lot more cells in the process of cell division and reproduction than in the normal cells. You're going to figure out why and what's going on there and, and how cancer treatments actually target cells that are rapidly dividing. Problem with some of the cancerous treatments, cancer treatments are that they just target all cells, not the specific cancer cells. They target everything that's dividing rapidly. Guess what divides rapidly in your body normally? Oh, the ones in your, in your stomach lining. Hence, someone doing chemo is extremely nauseous because it stops that, those cells from reproducing and the sloughing off business that happens in the stomach doesn't happen normally. Okay? Um, this is pretty cool lab. Let me know if you have any questions, but that's the one glitchy part. You do all your sets, and there's an example here how to do your mitotic index. The higher mitotic index you have, that means more cells are dividing, and that's one of the ways they tell that it's cancerous. And then answer your questions. Any questions, let me know, and have fun.